for securing the seventh rank in the recently declared Nalin Board of School Education Higher Secondary School Leaving Certificate 2021 examination from Science Stream with a percentage of 92.80 and also yes securing the state highest marks in mathematics 100 out of 100 and biology 99 out of 100 so once again a very big congratulations Erwin thank you sir are you satisfied with your result and where are you expecting it especially you know 100 out of 100 in mathematics and state highest in biology again 99 out of 100 did you expect it well, firstly i'm very happy with my result and yes, I was expecting this and was preparing for this day from class 11. And now regarding getting state highest in maths and biology, I was confident with maths. But with biology, I was not that confident as there was a 5 marks question which I forgot to revise. Uh, and when it came in my question, paper, I could not remember a single line. But somehow I tried to capture everything I've heard during uh, from my teachers in classroom. And I wrote it and from God's grace, I was able to get state highest in biology also. Okay, so you know, see, maths, biology, completely different subjects. How did you manage to, you know, just prepare for these two subjects? Because you have the state highest marks in both of these subjects, which are very different from each other. So, like, how did you manage? Uh, definitely, both of them are completely different. The former is solely based on practice, and the latter is about understanding and our memorizing power. Uh, now I am very thankful to God that I am blessed with a good hold of mathematics from childhood and I was also lucky to have great teachers who have showed me the right path from the very first. And uh, now about biology, I initially didn't like it, but soon in class 12 I came across Gregor Johann Mendel, the father of genetics, who inspired me to give biology a chance and soon I started to understand biology first and in no time I found myself in love with it. And you know, only because of that love that I was able to achieve this fate. Okay, and you know, see, mathematics generally, like, uh, generally considered as a very tough subject uh, by many students. What would you like to, you know, tell those students who generally find mathematics as very tough? Uh, for such students, I want to say that instead of uh, simply practicing math. Try to first understand the theory content, as it's uh, a common belief that math is only about making up the formulas and the methods. But I feel theory is as important as it. And for those students who want to score a good mark, that is 80 and above, one should practice every each and every question in the book for at least 10 times or more. Okay, so you mean practice is the key, isn't it? Yes, sir. With the con right concept. Mathematics paper again, like generally. Yes, many of us, many of us come up with one problem that is time shortage, especially while writing down the mathematics paper. We see it seems like three hours is not enough. But how did you manage to your time? Because you have achieved 100 out of 100 in mathematics. So how did you manage your time? Uh, definitely it's true that time is a big concern in mathematics paper because it's about 100, 100 marks. Now, as I've told that practice is the only key. Uh, before uh, when I went to the exam hall, I first attended the MCQs and soon after I went for a 6 marks question and started going from backwards. I caught the first big fishes first and then went for the small ones. This is, the, this is how I followed uh, to get 100 out of 100 in maths. Were the NCRT books you know, sufficient for preparation for the board exams? Yes, for the board exam, NCRT is sufficient. But if you want to appear a competition exams like GE, then you will have to refer other books. Um, and like when you had doubts, because you know we did not have any classes, offline classes and also, especially last year. When you had all the doubts and all, how did you, you know, clarify your doubts? Now whenever I had doubts, I would directly concern my teachers uh, and they would always help me in the shortest period of time. Moreover, I prepared uh, handwritten notes in the starting of the year so that the later part of the year, whenever I forget something, I can always refer my own handwriting and in my own words. Okay, so notes are also very important, isn't it? Yes, sir. See, we all hear, honestly speaking, we all hear about challenges and, you know, basically financial problems. Uh, many consider use this as an excuse, but how did you manage to push through all these challenges? No, I feel that challenges and financial problems can never set a person back. Moreover, they are the ones who pushes us to dream bigger and achieve those things. 
Now I was not born with the silver spoon. My father runs a pawn shop and my mother is a housewife. But even though they work really hard to uh, fulfill all my needs and wants so that I don't deviate my attention from studies, it is only because of those challenges that inspires me to work harder each and every day and to pay off my parents uh, by, completely, by, by completing their needs and wants as they have done it to me. And it is only because of those uh, hardships and uh, hard times that I have achieved this fit. That's really inspiring uh, of you. How did you manage to remain focused, especially again, as I repeat, uh, last year during the pandemic, no classes. So how, how did you, you, you know, maintain your focus? How did you manage to, to remain so focused? Uh, as we all know the problems of last year when online education was the only form. So I tried to combine it with a traditional form. I set my online studies timing from 8 to 12 as in classroom so that I can have a complete use of the 24 hours I have. Mm -hmm. I, uh, and I, start at, I started at 8 o'clock and uh, like our normal routine, I take breaks after t for 10 minutes and half an hour and as soon as it's done, I started st having self-studying and completing my homeworks. So you remain focused by just following the usual routine. So that's really unique of you. Did technology come to your help? Like, did it help you? Definitely, technology really helped me. Initially, I was quite new with technology. I was not a geek with technology, but it was because of our teachers who initiated taking online classes on a regular basis. And it was only because of them that I became familiar with technology and came to know about its advantages. So yes, it's only because te uh, technology is that the COVID pandemic was not a complete loss. So were you confident, you know, especially after the mathematics exams that you would get 100 out of 100? Yes, definitely. I was quite confident with mathematics paper. As soon as I saw the question, I was very happy and I completed my exam in about two hours and I had rechecked my papers five times. So I was quite confident on getting good marks. Definitely, you had absolutely no shortage of time. What was your daily study uh, routine, like uh, basically throughout the whole year? Uh, like I have said, I maintained th those six hours of study continuously. Okay. And in the initial parts of the year, year, I didn't study for so long. I studied about self-study for two hours or three hours. But as December strike, I came to self-realization that I had a lot of portions left. And then I started to study for about 10 hours a day. Okay, so thank you. And see, of course, you deserve all the credit. But like, uh, who would you like to thank? Uh, of course, it's all because of your dedication and hard work. But besides that, uh, you know, who would you like uh, to give the credit for your success also? Uh, the credit for my success goes, goes to my parents, teachers, parents and teachers. Uh, my parents, especially my mother, she was the one who motivated me and encouraged me to work hard every day and study well. And besides, my teachers were my mentors. They were the one who molded me and uh, made me realize that the period of 12 is a very important one in our lives and if I waste it, it will be, I will get a very huge setback in my life. So I am very thankful to my parents and teachers. Above all, I am very thankful to God as He is the one who gave me wisdom so that I was able to achieve this faith. That's really nice of you. What next Arun? So uh, what plans do you have now? Uh, next I am... Uh, I'm aiming to crack NEET so as to pursue my dream of becoming a surgeon one day. Okay, so you want to become a medical surgeon. Yes. Finally, any message for your juniors on how to prepare and strive for subjects, I mean success, especially in mathematics? Uh, for my juniors, I want to say, I want, only want to say that to be honest to oneself, there, is, there will be no one to tell you how much you have studied. We are the only one to know how much I have studied. We are all adults by class 10 and 12 and there should be no one to tell us when to study or how to study. Moreover, to get good marks in maths, the only way is understand the theory and practice as much as one can. Alright then, so thank you so much Arun for your valuable time and I believe that you will continue to motivate more youngsters in the days to come and yes, we hope to see more of you. All the best for all your future endeavors. Thank you so much Arun. Thank you sir.